So hello guys, we're back working on the Peterbilt here. I have it parked in my driveway and uh, I'm working on polishing. Did a quick uh, 220 sandpaper on that grinder or the uh, palm sander 400 by hand didn't do much and then uh, thousand grit pads on the polisher I actually found some and uh, got a whole bunch of supplies here gonna try uh, the clay bar and uh, <clears throat> polishing wheels we're gonna try those next so see how this goes So here we are after sanding down with the 220, 400, 1000, um, orange wheel and then yellow wheel going at it. You can still see it's not perfect. It's still got the sanding marks up and down. So probably going to have to step up the sanding job for the rest of the tank, but it's a wee bit better. I don't know. Not a professional job or anything like that, but it's getting there. You can see uh, down here, it starts getting pitted. That's like that all the way along the tank. Like over here, this is untouched. And it's smooth. And it gets really pitted at the bottom there. So, we'll work on that next. So here we are after a bit of sanding. I did, uh, what was it, 120 on the palm sander to get rid of the bottom, all the crap on the bottom there. And then uh, 600 grit by hand, I don't think it did much. And then 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000 on the, on the sander there. And now uh, go at it with the clay bar and wheel.
So I think something in my technique changed or something's not right because I just don't have anywhere near the same kind of finish as I did on the other side here. So it's maybe because the pad's starting to wear out or something. Or my technique's just wrong, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to you can see how not clean it is. And I wasn't even happy with this side, but it's way better than this one. So I'll figure out I'll figure out what's going on. I'll try to redo it. So I got as much of the tank done as I can with the machinery. Front surfaces are easy enough to do. That's about uh, the only thing you really can do with the machinery because uh, the spinning wheel doesn't fit in here with the exhaust pipe in the way so it's all big old mess. And then uh, same on the other side here because the toolbox is in the way. Got up as close as I can to the top. And you can see the transition point between the, the wheel and what it used to be there. So it is what it is. I'm going to go over the whole thing in auto saw, see if I can fix up some of those spots and make it uh, look a little bit better. That's what I'm used to doing anyways, do it all by hand with Autosol. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I can't tell if I made it better or worse with the air auto saw. Just looks like it has a bit of a white finish on it. And it's not as clear, I don't think. Maybe the auto saw is expired. I got a can of uh, Mother's, some sort of wax. I'll try that next. So we did the test spot on the, uh, with the mother's, what is it? Focus in on the thing. There we go. 
Mother's billet and metal polish. Did a test subject section right along here. And no difference. So it is what it is. I'm gonna live with the tank for another year. Now to finish off doing the rest of the truck. These steps and all the chrome along the sides, the front grill, I'm gonna do that too, so we'll keep going. So I think that's the best results I've had so far. Just slowing down, taking my time with the tool. You can see it's almost the mirror finish. And then that's where the cut, the first cut, I did that, but I haven't done the second step yet. This is the second step, right along there. Makes a difference. I still gotta wipe it down though, so it's not super shiny, and I think I'm gonna do that third step after this. Now uh, I figured out how to do it. Well, it's not perfect by any means, but it's a whole lot better than it was. I mean, it still has a bit of a shine on it, or a haze. But it's way better than it was. This uh, Peterbilt emblem is even coming away. It's been permanently etched in there forever and it's starting to go away right there. 
I don't know what's going on with that kind of white haze right down there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but yeah. I have to do the rest of the truck. That'll be tomorrow's gig.